Hello guys, on this video I'm going to show you the easiest way to create a chisel text effect with shadow in Adobe Illustrator. I have opened a new document, the site doesn't really matter, and I will take the type tool by going to the letter T here, or press the T button on the keyboard and will type a word. In this case I will only use a letter. I will convert it to outlines by going to the type tab on the top menu and click create outlines. I'm going to make a copy of it because I will need it later for the shadow. So I'm going to hold option or alt key and then I click and drag on the side. Ok, first I'm going to create a triangle here on the top corner. So I will take the pen tool and I will click on the corner point here. Now I'm going to click on this point below. And while holding the shift key, I'm taking the mouse cursor somewhere here in the middle till this pink guide appears. I'm clicking to add the third point of the triangle. And now back to the first point to close the triangle. I will add a color from my swatches. I have added some colors on my swatches to use, which I found earlier using Adobe Color Themes. The Color Themes panel is a great tool to find beautiful color combinations, so if you don't have it here on the side, you can find it on the Windows panel, here on Color Themes. It has a ton of choices to choose from, but even better, you can create your own themes, and then you can add it to your swatches. So I'm adding this color. And then I'm taking the selection tool and I click and hold option or alt key and I'm copying the triangle on this part of the letter. I'm squeezing it a bit to fit and then I will do the same to have a copy here. Now I'm taking the pen tool again. You can also choose it by pressing the letter P on the keyboard and create a path starting from here and end it there when I see the pink guide to make sure it is straight with the bottom point. In order to release the mouse from the path, I'm holding the command or control key and click somewhere on the empty space. I'm creating a new path from bottom to the top. Again when I will see the pink guide I will add a point and holding command I click on the empty space. And finally, I will add another path from this end to this point of the triangle. On the paths, I make sure that I only have stroke and not fill. Now I need to add some more lines. So with the pen tool, I'm adding one from here to here. And one from here, adding a point on the corner and then here. Just make sure to use the specific points you created earlier. Now I'm taking the selection tool and I select them all. And I'm going to the pathfinder and I click divide. This will separate it to different shapes but will also group it. So I'm going to object and ungroup because I need to edit them separately. So the shapes from this side will need to have the same color as this one. I select both and I add the dark green color. Now all the shapes facing down will need to have another color. I would like to add a stroke to all of the shapes so I'm selecting them all and I will go to stroke, I will choose this color. I will increase it to 5 points and I will change the cap to this one and corner to this one. The letter is ready so I'm going to add the shadow now. So I'm taking the letter I created earlier and I'm putting it slightly lower and slightly to the left or wherever you'd like to have the shadow. I will change the color to a darker green and add a stroke of a grey color. Just make sure it has the same width as the pink stroke. I will also need to connect the shadow to the letter. So I will select the shadow. I'm taking the pen tool 
and I will add a new anchor point here when I will see this small plus icon. Now with the direct selection tool, I will choose this point and move it here. I will do the same with the other corners, so taking the pen tool, adding a point, taking the direct selection tool by pressing the letter A on the keyboard and move it to the corner. Finally, I will need to add the missing line to connect these points here. So with the pen tool, I will create a path from here to here and I make sure it has the same stroke as the previous lines. I just need to put this object behind these, so I'm going to the layers panel and I move it lower. Now I can also add a background, so I'm taking the rectangle tool, I create a square and then change it into a light blue color. I will also remove the stroke and put it behind all the other objects. So that was how to create a chisel text effect like this. That's the easiest way I can think of, but also it is easier with block letters without curves. For a more complex way, I will create a new tutorial. If you like this tutorial, consider subscribing and click the like button below. See you on the next video.